Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the noise about noise. I can't, I wish I could record all the conversations I get every day about what people think they need to do to stop noise transmission. 90% of it's wrong, okay? So there's a lot of information out there and it's just not correct at all, okay? Most of the information I see on the internet, I have to ask myself, do the people even build rooms that are giving out this information? Or are they just regurgitating something they read in a textbook from someone else who may or may not build rooms? Well, we build over 240 some rooms. We have good noise data. Now, all my noise data does not come from music and, and vocals and, and that kind of situation, but noise is noise. It doesn't make any difference. We don't want it in our rooms. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. Could be a choir singing outside. If it's bothering the usage of the room, we don't want it. So it's noise, okay? So it seems to me that people just don't think through all of this. They go on the internet and they hunt for noise solutions. One, they don't even know what their noise problem is, but they're hunting for a solution on the internet given by people that don't build buildings, don't do measurements. So be really, really, really careful here. So most techniques I see on the internet are 40 and 50 years old. Well, we've come a long way in our barrier technologies. We've come a long way as a company because we have great databases. So I used to build office buildings and they had to be absolutely quiet because my clients were big corporate clients and they're not putting up with any crap. They don't want any noise. They don't want to hear the fax machine back then running in the office next to them. They don't want their corporate boardroom discussions leaking out into the halls. So the competition across the hall can hear. So they were very, very particular about that. So we spent extra time, R&D, extra money in materials, and charged extra money in the leases, and they were more than happy to pay it. Our rooms were known for being quiet. That was an actual feature and a benefit that we marketed. So guessing with noise is what everybody's doing, and it's a fool's game. You'll guess wrong all the time. I've been doing this 40 plus years, and sometimes I guess wrong. What chance do you have? Not much, okay? So I know I harp on this all the time, but it's such an easy fix to all of this. Measure, measure, measure. Define the problem. If you define the problem, we can apply the solution. But if we don't know the problem, we're guessing at the solution. Find the strategy, assign the appropriate tactics. It's not rocket science, although some of it can get complicated. Measure, measure, measure. And we have programs to assist you with that. Here's what the process looks like to me, listening on the phone from the other end. I'm gonna guess about my noise. I'm going to build something because I got to build something. I'm crazy to build something. I got all these tools. I want to build something. Jeez, people got to build stuff. I just don't understand it. And they're disappointed in the end results. So what's, what's the issue there? Drained bank account, poor sound quality because it all started here. This ain't the problem. People can build anything almost today but they're guessing at what they're trying to stop. Most of them are putting a feather to stop a tornado in terms of physics. So why not change the process? Just instead of guessing, substitute measuring for guessing. Because really that's what you're doing when you're guessing. You're running through a whole host of things that you read on the internet or some guy told you or you saw this, that, or the other in a forum. So forget about guessing. Just know enough that, okay, it's noise, I got to measure. And then I can build to my heart's content. And then I'll be satisfied, 100% fixed, 100% right, and be done with it. Then focus on the fun stuff, making music in the room if you're a musician, live room, recording, playing if you're just in a band, if you're mixing. That's the fun stuff. The absorption and diffusion inside the room is the fun stuff. The noise is a mess. So be careful here. There's too much noise about noise out there. 
measure, measure, measure. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.